Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching these videos, going through them ads, doing the right things, liking them videos, subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, I really do. But today, we're gonna talk about what's going into the forged engine and an approximate cost of what it's gonna cost you if you were to do the same thing I'm doing. All right, so let's get into it. Let's talk about the block, the rods, the pistons. The short block assembly uh, that I had done. Okay, so I started off with a used, uh, a used block. Uh, I got a really good deal, really good deal on it. I got that for six hundred dollars, and I'll put everything up either here or here. I can't remember which way it goes, but I'll, I'll put the prices up there. But I got, so I got the block for $600. I got that from a friend of mine, so I got a pretty good deal on it. From there, uh, I took it to the machine shop. Uh, we got that, uh, we got the block decked, home, bored out 20 over, cleaned up, uh, new bearings throughout. So it's got all new bearings, coated bearings throughout uh, it's got eagle rods and molly pistons forged right to hold the power um, what else did we do uh, from from an engine short block perspective and uh, just clean up work that's what clean the machine shop did for me so for machine work that's pretty much it and put in the small block or the short block together uh, except for a cam that's the only thing that's not in the short block was, was put in a cam but the bearings new bearings and everything else is in there all right so all that machine work the rods the pistons oh an ARP uh, connect uh, I'll call it connecting hardware so uh, wherever we could put ARP connection stuff, we did. So, um, uh, the connecting rods uh, have ARP uh, connectors in them. Uh, we got ARP head studs, not bolts, head studs. Um, and there was one or two other uh, ARP things we added uh, to the engine. A 6 1 crank. So I got a 6 1 crank uh, <laughs> on a pretty good deal, too. I got a 6 1 crank for 600 bucks. So we'll put that in there, too. So all in on the short block, I was in like 35, between 35 and 4,000. I can't remember exactly where I was at. Uh, and that's tax and all. So roughly, so it's gonna cost you roughly 3,500 to 4,000, depending on if you can get the same good deals I got on parts, on some of the parts, uh, to get your, your block machine uh, and the short block put together. All right, so there's the short block, roughly 30, 35 to 4,000, okay? Uh, now, we're gonna take the heads from Shake and Bake, the current heads from Shake and Bake. Uh, they're HHP BES Stage 3 heads. Uh, so we're going to swap those over. So if you were to buy new heads, if you were going with the same heads I have, uh, I think mine were right around $1,700 all in. Okay, so that's the heads. Now we'll get into all the other minuscule stuff, uh, the new stuff uh, that I'm about to put uh, on the outside. 
So I got my quote right here. And I'm gonna give you the list price, not the price I paid, because uh, I think it would be ingenuous for me to do that, because uh, I got these parts pretty cheap from, from the dealership. Uh, because I have a, uh, a great working relationship with the parts department uh, at the dealership I, I, I go with. Uh, I get everything at their, their price. Um, so I'll give you the list price. Uh, that way it'll be a little bit more closer to, uh, to what you would pay. Alright? So the first off uh, is I got a Hellcat oil pump. And the Hellcat oil pump was $300. Uh, $347 list price so if you can talk to your dealership and get a deal uh, you know you can you can get some off of that all right uh, then we have uh, uh, the cam gear for the timing set that was expensive that's $367 for the cam gears uh, the timing chain was $61.90 the sprocket the timing chain goes on is $62.85. Uh, the tensioner is $26.15, which you may or may not need, but I went ahead and got another one. Uh, the, the timing guide, the guideline for the timing chain, uh, $22.75. Uh, retainer for all that stuff, $114. And then I got a brand new water pump going in as well, and that was $275. As you see, I'm reading off. <laughs> I'm reading off the list of stuff that I bought. Uh, also, I got new lifters, uh, and those were four hundred, uh, like four hundred, four hundred fifty dollars uh, for the for the new lifters. Uh, head gaskets, you could figure another hundred, hundred fifty dollars for head gaskets, uh, and then. Uh, Take manifold gaskets, another 50, 60 bucks uh, for that. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the cam. I'm not getting a new cam. I'm using the same cam I have now, the Comcam 270s. 270. I'm just going to put that cam uh, into the new engine. So I'm not getting a new cam either. Uh, so if you go with a new cam, you can expect another. Uh, six to eight hundred dollars depending on you know the deal you get with uh with the new cam so i don't know that total off the top of my head but i will put it in the uh in with the list i'll put the total which there are rotating assemblies already out there uh, uh, hhp's got got one uh mmx has one uh and they're in that same range uh, 4,500 to uh, 4,500-5,000. But that doesn't include all of the other stuff, the water pump, the oil pump, all the, the uh, gaskets and all, timing chain and all that. That's just a short block. So it doesn't get you all that new stuff. Um, so now you all know what's going into the forged engine. When, when, when we get there uh, and you know roughly how much it cost me and there may be other onesie twosies in there uh, that I may have missed but for the most part I caught I pretty much caught everything um, somebody will correct me down in the uh, down in the comments I'm sure but uh, so like I said uh, you know if you get some good deals on some used parts uh, you can put a, a five seven long block together you know, fairly, fairly cheap, fairly cheap, uh, comparatively speaking. So, hopefully, y'all like this one. Uh, but if you are stopping in for the first time, hey, check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on with the channel, do me a favor: like those videos, uh, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and bake definitely appreciate it because every red penny from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. Uh, y'all y'all have heard that a thousand times but that's going to do it for this one folks until the next one adios